Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Sue Rakofsky, and in a minute we'll be talking real estate with David Simpson. Today's show is sponsored by the St. Clair County Department of Veterans Affairs. David, welcome to the show, and we're going to talk about real estate. And I think uh, people are still wondering what the market is like these days. Is it a buyer's market, a seller's market? Where are we at in St. Clair County? Well, Sue, thanks for having me. Uh, I, I'm glad to be able to talk about that because a lot of people don't know where it's at or they're trying to anticipate where it's going to go or where they think it already is. And, you know, when the feds raised the rates last year, it definitely put a halt on the market and slowed it down quite a bit. You know, however, you know, since the holidays um, have passed, you know, uh, the interest rates are kind of leveled off a little bit and people are starting to get back into the game. You know, so the, the uh, real estate is starting to pick back up and it has been you know, ever since really the holidays were over. And it usually does right around this time of year when taxes come out and people are able to get more of a down payment. Mm -hmm. um, that kind of stimulates the market again and gets that going for the spring and summer market. Yeah, I was kind of surprised. Um, I live uh, in a rural area and a very small house sold for like $200,000. And I was, I was rather surprised. It seems like the prices are kind of up. Yeah, they're definitely up. Um, you know, 200000 is really like the starting base, it feels like. You know, okay. you definitely find some for cheaper than that. But, you know, if we're looking for a solid home that's good for a starting family or whatever, you know, that's 200 is pretty much our starting base right now, the way the market is. Okay, very good. Well, let's shift a little bit. Tell me about American Dream TV, what that's all about and how you're involved. Uh, the American Dream TV, that's a, it's a pretty... Um, nice situation to be involved in. It's a Emmy nominated TV show out of San Diego, California, and it's based around positive influences and impact that we can give to the community to, to combat the negative media stream that's out there. Uh, so what they're doing is they're trying to, you know, their goal is to win an Emmy by giving, you know, positive um, inspiration back to the communities all over the U.S. So they, they're based out of major cities. Um, they reached out to us, which were close to Detroit. So that's how we got involved because they were reaching out to agents that were in the Detroit area. And, you know, we are in Port Huron. We were about as far out as they were going. Okay. Um, so we just barely made the cut. Okay. Um, but it's really about um, what can we do to promote the lifestyle and culture in the area on a positive note to bring back, you know, good, good uh, things to the community or just spread uh, good things about the community and, and get some extra people in the spotlight, I guess. And I understand you uh, talked with Kate from Kate's of down, the downtown, a yes. little cute, great restaurant, and then also about yeah. City Flats. Tell me about that. Yeah, so Kate's one of my favorites. Uh, love, love Kate, love Kate's downtown. It's always a great spot. So if you haven't been there, you definitely got to try it. Absolutely. Um, and then the City Flats, there's a little bit that we've learned, and I could be a little bit incorrect here, but you know, some of the things that I've learned there is that you know, in the past, it was, it started off as a Federal Reserve Bank mm -hmm. uh, way back, and then it turned into you know, a national bank um, for the state of Michigan, and then it's, it went into Michigan National Bank and then turned into the city flats. Mm -hmm. So it's come a long ways. It's been there for a long time. It's actually been, they've added to it, they've torn places down, and they rebuilt it uh, you know, over the years since the original structure, but the original structure is still there and focused around that. So it's really cool to see uh, as you go down there, you can see the old, the old vault in there, which is pretty nice. Uh, and then you can see how you know, they, they made all the bedrooms and turned all the offices into it turned into a boutique hotel. Mm -hmm. It's very and beautiful. It, yeah, yep. and an area to have weddings, and it's definitely a good wedding destination now. So where can people watch the show? Uh, people can watch the show. This usually airs on Saturday mornings, and it can air anywhere from NBC, ABC to Fox uh, to a local Detroit station, even um, streaming live on Amazon, Fire, uh, Roku, uh, et cetera. And um, usually it's going to, on in a, the individual area, depending on where they're at, it's usually going to be on a local station. So the last one that aired for us was on WADL, which was 38 mm -hmm. out of Detroit. Okay. Um, so just they they fluctuate depending on you know I guess the segments and what they're what they're going after and what they're talking about, um, really where it's going to air at. And so we kind of get we get notified at the last minute, um, about a week away from when it's going to hit television and go live for that for that weekend. Um, but that's something that uh, we definitely look forward to. And my goal is to actually produce or provide a good enough segment to get, you know, its way, sure. work its way up on the, on the stations. All to right, not well, just being streaming on Amazon. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Where can people reach you for their real estate needs? Um, they can reach me. We're actually out of, I'm out of Keller Williams, um, right next to Applebee's, um, right in Fort Gratiot. 
and they could reach me at 810-650-4920. Be more than happy to help anybody out. Um, love helping families out in the area and love promoting things about the area. That's how we kind of got involved with this TV show. Yeah, well, good luck to you and, and continued success. Thank you, I appreciate that. All right, and thank you for watching this edition of Spotlight.